Hi, I'm Dave from Shorts and Larson UK. In this video, we're going to be looking at what's involved when switching caliber groups, and in particular, when switching from a standard caliber to a magnum caliber. Now, as you may already know, the Schultz and Larsen rifle is a switch barrel rifle, which means you can completely remove the barrel from the rifle and exchange it with a different barrel. This is great if you've got two or three different calibers and one rifle, you can interchange them and the accuracy and reliability is outstanding. Now, there are some rules and procedures that you have to follow to maintain the accuracy. And also you need to make sure that you're using the correct parts. We'll cover all this in the video. So to start with, we're going to be switching a standard caliber barrel with a standard caliber barrel, but in different caliber groups. Now the magazines for standard calibers come in either short or long, depending on what caliber you have. So for instance, on this rifle, we have a 270 barrel fitted, which uses a long magazine, and we're going to be switching it for a 308 barrel, which uses a short magazine. Now we'll run through this procedure, which is very straightforward, and we're going to be swapping a 270 barrel for a 308. So we'll start off by removing the long magazine, put that to one side, and the bolt. And remove the bolt. Now, to release the action and the barrel, we're going to be using our 4mm wrench. There's two action screws on the underside, either side of the magazine. Now remove both action screws and gently remove the stock away from the barrel and action. Now we're going to be releasing just with half a turn these two screws here. And only half a turn is needed to allow the barrel to then slide away from the action. So we have the 270 barrel. I'm going to put that to one side and we're going to be fitting the 308 barrel. Now we've got the 308 barrel here. We're going to be fitting this into the action, but before we do, we do tend to say, give it a, a clean around the barrel collar and inside the action, just to make sure it is clean and it's free from any oils or dirt that can get in there. And when you fit the barrel, there's a small tenon inside the action and a locator on the barrel. And you slide this in and it should meet up. Another tip is to push the barrel in and you can give it a little twist and the serial number should be facing upwards and once it is in you can then fit your bolt you need to do this to set the head space and once the bolt's in and connected inside the barrel then tighten up the barrel screws now you start with the rear screw first and tighten this screw until it's getting tight then nip it up with an eighth of a turn. The same for the front screw. Just tight, then add eighth of a turn to fully tighten it up. And now that barrel is fitted. You can then take the stock and drop the barrel in action back in. And once that's in, you can fit the action screws. Now the larger of the two screws goes in the rear and the smaller one in the front. Tighten both of the screws evenly and stop on the first one just as it's getting tight, then tighten up the second one. Again, just as it's getting tight, then just add eighth of a turn to nip it up tight. And go back to the first screw and add eighth of a turn to make sure they're both tight. And that's back together. Now we've fitted the 308 barrel, which is the short magazine. So remember to put the right magazine in. Okay, so that's the 308 barrel fitted. 
just check the fault mechanism is working fine and you're done. It's a very straightforward procedure and that's your standard calibre switched over to a standard calibre but in a different calibre group. Okay, so next up we're going to be looking at changing from a standard calibre, so this 308, over to a Magnum calibre and we're going to be switching a 300 Win Mag barrel onto the rifle. And not only do you need to change the barrel and the magazine, but you also need to exchange the bolt in this occasion. Now the bolts for Schultz and Larsen rifles, they come in standard calibre and magnum calibre. As you can see, the standard calibre bolt usually has an S on it for standard and the magnum bolt has an M marked on it for magnum. So the magnum magazines, they come in two sizes again. So you'll have a standard magnum magazine for calibres such as 300 Win Mag and also a short magnum magazine for calibres such as 270 WSM. Now you have to use the correct magazine each time, so do check this is right. Okay, so next up we're going to be going through the procedure to change this 308 standard calibre over to the 300 Win Mag magnum calibre. And first of all, remove the magazine and the bolt, put those to one side. Again, remove the action screws. Remove both screws and take the stock away from the action barrel. So again, we're going to be unscrewing the barrel screws by half a turn and then sliding the 308 standard caliper barrel out and we're going to be fitting the 300 Win Mag. Now, Again, we'll be checking the barrel collar. Give this a wipe and inside the action, making sure it's clean from oil and dirt and slide the Magnum barrel in. Same as before, but this time we'll be using a Magnum bolt. Insert the Magnum bolt this sets the headspace, which then allows you to now tighten up the barrel screws. Start off with a rear screw first. Tighten this screw until it's getting tight, then nip it up with an eighth of a turn. The same for the front screw. Add eighth of a turn to fully tighten it up. Okay, so that's the barrel fitted to the action. We're gonna now fit the stock back on. and fit the action screws to the larger in the rear and the smaller one in the front. Again, tighten these screws evenly and stop on the first one just as it's getting tight. Then tighten up the rear one and just as it's getting tight, nip both screws up with an eighth of a turn. And this time we've gone from our standard magazine over to our Magnum magazine. We put the magazine in check the bolt mechanism works a few times just to make sure it's all working and that's that. That's a 308 standard caliber barrel switched over to a 300 Win Mag barrel in a few minutes. All you need to do is make sure you use the correct parts and exchange the bolt, magazine, and the barrel, of course, and it's done. It's as simple as that, making this rifle a very, very versatile rifle indeed. Okay, so that's it for now. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments box below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.